Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This will be a 9 part video tutorial series for GAK House. Let's get started. So to start, let's open a new architecture template. So go to new and then go to drop down and then click on architecture template and press OK. And then let's start off by going to architecture and adding in grid line. So in short, this will be GR. And once you do, we're going to start by adding a vertical grid line. So I'm going to click here and then going down. You can press escape. And then as you can see, our grid bubble is below. We could put it up by clicking on the grid line and just checking this box. And we could just remove this. And then we still are selecting the grid line. So what we could do is we could copy this by typing CO or clicking on this icon above. This is, by the way, under modify. And then make sure that multiple is checked as well. So after this, select the grid line again and move it on the right side. We're going to type in 3400. And then again, we're going to type in 4500. After that, you can press escape and then escape again. Again, let's type in GR or grid line, or you could go to architecture again or click this icon. And then after that, let's add in our horizontal grid line. So we could click on here, like that. And let's add in this grid line, but I don't want this grid line to be here. So I just need to check this box and uncheck this one. You can press escape and then escape again to finish the command it's because we're going to double click on this grid line and we could change this to a letter so i'm going to hold shift and press a and then enter i'm going to zoom out and then it's still selected so i could type in co to copy or this icon and then I'm going to click the grid line again and pull it down. So this one will be around 4700 and then grid line C will be around 5500. Or better yet, instead of 55, it should be 5200. So once you're done, press escape and then escape again. Now we should just clean up. I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to click this grid line. And as you can see, there's a dash line right here. You can pull it up all the way there. And it will pull up everything. This one, we're going to pull it up as well because we're going to add in our dimension. This one, I'll put it on the left side like so. And this one, this is good enough. So just a little bit on the right side. Press escape and then escape again. Now, 
let's click on our dimension and then before we add our dimension click on edit type and then duplicate i want imperial and then metric press ok and then go down and look for alternative so here click on this one and you want to select it below so alternative unit format should be or alternative unit should be below and then the format click on this one and let's change this to feet and fractional inches and then press ok and then now so basically two changes al alternate units and alternate units format it should be below and then fractional and then once you're ready press ok and then now we're ready to add in our dimension so first we're gonna hover in the middle of this click on this grid line to this grid line and this grid line and then after that let's go and add in the overall again here go to a b and c and put it in the middle and then go to a up to c for the overall press escape and then escape again to finish the command now we finish adding our grid line next thing is our level so what you have to do as you can see level is grayed out you will need to go to south elevation or any elevation in order for it to be clickable and then again we have this so i'm just gonna click on this and move it a little bit on the left side and for this grid i want it to be to pull up so that we have space to add in our levels and then here from level one to level two it's default 4000 millimeters now i'm going to change that by clicking on the numbers and changing it to 3200 and then again what we could do is we could press escape and click level again or ll or you could just click on this and create a copy which is co or this icon you can pull it up and then type in the amount that you want so for me i'm gonna put in 3200 again like that and then press escape and then escape so now we have three levels level one two and three all are 32 in height And then you can even add in your dimension here if you want but for now we could leave it like that and then again for level you can add in a lever icon here or you could if you want you could just have it on the right side so now that we're done with this we could go back to level one and now we could start in adding our wall so what you have to do again is go back to architecture and then here we're going to click on wall and then here we're going to edit this type and then we're going to duplicate this will be our exterior wall number one 
click on edit and let's change the materials so I want it white so I'm gonna type in white so I'm gonna choose this clad white and then press OK and we're gonna leave the thickness to 200 OK again and then OK make sure to change this to from unconnected to level 2 as a default unconnected is up to 8000 so now you're telling Revit that you want it up to level 2 or 3200 so now what we're gonna do is to do it fast we could click on rectangle and I want to point out that our location line is wall center line so you could do it line but it's a simple um, house design so we could just click on rectangle and click on this intersection up to this intersection we could zoom in like that and as you can see it's very simple we could, we added it just like that so next thing is we're gonna add in the same wall but use line and we're gonna close this off so from B1 up to B2 and going down to C2 and then after that 1000 from the grid line 3 we're gonna add in this up to 2000 and close it off again so just to repeat this is 1000 from this um, wall and this is 2000 from this wall and then after that we could now type in TR to trim and extend this so now this will be gone again this will be trim and extend so now this wall will be gone and we're left with this and then also we could trim and extend this and this will be gone so that's TR or go to modify this is the icon trim and extend press escape and then escape so we're gonna stop the video for now thank you for watching and I hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below